Getting out of school trying to record a video real quick. It's probably not the best way to do it. Um yeah. What's up, Uno Gang? It's your girl Uno, and I'm coming back with a you know video. You feel me? Alright, y'all. I was gonna record inside of Chipotle, but they got their music so loud up in there, like I couldn't even hear myself. I couldn't even hear my thoughts. But um I just wanted to do a quick video real quick because I had previously started this video. As y'all can see, I got my ear done. Y'all y'all see that. Don't worry about that. Y'all see that later. But um I recently started this video, y'all. The um the con the, the, the title of this video. Basically, this video is about meat and mo, okay? Because you know it's one thing to see somebody doing YouTube and love their videos. It's a whole nother ball game when you in person and they not even just as funny as they YouTube. They funnier. That nigga is funny as hell. Like, we literally was damn it together every day she was here. And she cool as hell. She is real dope, y'all. That's my nigga. But uh, I was talking, recording a video, and I said, um, I was just talking about how she encouraged and motivated me and stuff, y'all. Because I don't be posting a lot. Like, I got a lot going on. But she was just basically saying... All it takes niggas about 20, 30 minutes out your day. Then you got another hour to edit if that long. Who out the bam? So, as soon as I said, don't get sidetracked, this happened. So, that's what I'm going to start doing. Stop getting sidetracked by, look at, damn! I didn't even want to post that video no more. I got so irritated, y'all. I was so pissed off, because... Those who know me know I could not stand being in Milwaukee since I got stabbed. Like I used to always be out here kicking with people and you know just in and out. But I've been here for a year now and it's just like it's really uh, irritating. All areas got that good and bad, but I don't like Milwaukee, y'all. But anyway, y'all. I was getting lit with Mo, and that nigga is funny as hell. Like, I can't wait to go to Arizona. I'm so hungry. I just got out of school. I ain't ate nothing all day. I ain't feel good in school today either. But um, I recorded a, a, quite a few videos for y'all, so. I want that all my mafia know, because y'all come and join my family too. Thanks for coming over here to Uno Gang. I appreciate y'all. All the comments I'm getting, all the love I'm getting from the videos we made so far. I hope I can keep y'all eyes over here, but. Um, mm. Mo is definitely my nigga, y'all. She cool as hell. Positive energy. And encouraged me. I done made three videos already. And I've been trying to edit our video since I did it, but the service where I'm at is like real janky, so I have to upload them every time I come to school. So I'll probably be dropping a video twice a week now. I know y'all should do more story times. I did a lot of challenges, like that's what I really like to do challenges. Y'all look at my food. Can y'all see it? Look at that. I got a double chicken bowl. Some chips and guac. Mmm. It's so good. I'm really picky about where I get my Chipotle from. Because some places, they just be burning the meat. Like, oh, nobody want no burnt meat. 
the guac is fresh. Look. Look at that guac, y'all. See that? It's dangerous. I'm back in my, you know, get it together. This is what you, you know, you signed up for this, so let's get it on, get the ball game rolling. I had to, you know, and I appreciate Mo for helping me get that ball game rolling, because I'm just like, at this point, doing all this homework, honey, and these kids, I don't know. But, um, I'm going to do an updated Q&A. I got a couple more today. I know I'm going to stay doing some challenges. I got a couple challenges I want to do with Kiva. This rock is so fresh and so good, y'all. Oh, my God. Um, I'm actually going to be turning my family channel into Kiva channel. So, I'm going to drop the link in the description by Y'all go subscribe to my other channel. That's going to be Kiva channel. Uh, delicious. I know that's all I want to talk about. Somebody asked me what I was taking up in school. I actually went back to school because I had a non-credited high school diploma. So, I was supposed to graduate in 2010. It happened that way. I ended up getting my diploma in 2011. And the diploma I got, if I didn't retrieve a certain amount of college credits by a certain time frame, it just vanishes or something. So, um, and then I just found that out because I had started going to school for cosmetology, Canela hair and design, and I ended up not finishing because I was pregnant with Kiva. And then, I didn't get back in school. I wanted to do photography or become a producer. So, and I tried to get back in school. It was like nothing. Every time I tried to get my transcripts, I was getting my old high school transcripts. So I'm like, what's going on with CPS? I ended up finding out the school is shut down. Anybody who graduated can't get, you know, it, the, the, the documents is just gone without a trace. And I'm like, how the hell? I don't know, my diploma, I believe my mama had it because I had my own transcripts. And it was a, too much running around. So, I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll figure out how to get another diploma. I don't want no GED. Because when I left high school in 2010, I needed like one, two, three, four. Like three and a half or four credits. So, I was not finna, you know, just throw all that away for a couple credits. No. I'm not getting GED. I want no equivalents. I want the actual thing. So, I was looking into different schooling, and nobody had what the school I'm attending now has to offer me, which is a program with a real diploma. Not a GED, not an AS, GUD, whatever, whatever. They got what I want, what I need. So, um, I got back in school a while back, and I'm on the road to graduating and getting a real diploma a real high school diploma not that I didn't graduate before or even attend college but it would have been better if I did it right the right way the first time around but it didn't happen like that like in high school I went to school because I went to school for Brownie. Like, that was my nickname in high school. Everybody knew Brownie and ain't care about nothing. Another story time. But I care, but not like I should have. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so. Now I got to get it done. 
get a right one. And then it's going to be the next step from now. I graduated in May. I'm excited. I mean, as long as I pass this one class, y'all, because she just be... Man, speaking of, I got a PowerPoint for homework. But I just wanted to chop it over with y'all for a minute and um, let y'all know what I got going on. Mm. Mm. Tell y'all about kicking it with more. Let y'all know I'm back dropping these bangers. Eat a little food, dip a little chip. Toss a little sauce. And with all that being said and done, oh no gang, I'm gonna let y'all know. Like this video, drop down in the comments some ideas, some stuff y'all think I should be doing next. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you ain't already subscribed. Don't forget, on no game number one, gone.